Huh? I think someone is coming. Who is it? Huh? I never been here before. This place looks a little weird. Huh? What's that? Is this a big statue? Hmm, that was Ouch. weird. Maybe I should kick it again. Uh -huh. Player, what do you think you're doing? Stop! Isn't this just a statue? He used to be a human just like us. Let me tell you the story. When I was just a kid, I used to get bullied by other children at school. They picked on me because I liked playing with my stinger toy. They took it away from me and laughed, saying I was a loser. I tried to fight back, but that made it break. I just threw it away like it was garbage. Suddenly, Sophius appeared and offered to fix him. But I got scared of his appearance and ran away, accidentally leaving my stinger there. Thankfully, he found it and decided to fix it for me. Then the rest of the kids saw him and made fun of him, calling him names and casting him away. Even when school was finally over, Solfius didn't have any family to look after him. And the other kids would make fun of him for that too. He really wasn't happy about his life. It was like the whole world was being cruel to him. He even had to sleep on an alley alone. Meanwhile, I was walking along the street, thinking about how much I missed my friend. When suddenly I found him at the alley. At first, I was scared, but then he showed me my stinger. I took it from him and saw that he had fixed it. So I thanked him with a big hug. He was really happy. The next day at school, Solfius was feeling down because nobody wanted to play with him. So I came in and offered to play jump the rope together. But suddenly, the bullies appeared. They demanded that we give them a rope. And I was so scared that I almost did it. But then Solfius walked up to the bully and hit him right in the face. That was awesome. But all of a sudden, Bamban appeared. While Solfius wasn't looking, he took me with him. The only thing he left behind was a poster. I was in Bamban's lab, trembling with fear. He started explaining how he was going to use his machines to turn me into a monster. But just as he pressed the button to fire the transformation laser, Solfius came to rescue me and got hit in my place. At that moment, he transformed into a huge, horrific monster. Bamban was so scared of him that he ran away. Solfius got really sad thinking that nobody would like him again. But then I got an idea. I shot the laser at myself too, so that I would also be a monster with him. And that's the story. Huh? You just needed a hug, didn't you? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no one can stand against me! Oh, please no! You be a roasted monster! It seems like this isn't the best day, huh? No! I'm cornered! Now what? Now! It's time to die! Opila, oh, please! How is it possible that you've forgotten our great friendship? You need to wake up! <laughs> oh, I can't believe what I'm doing! This doesn't belong to my goals! Do you see? Oh. What happened? <laughs> Can you tell me? It was terrible just to think and remember about it. I was a victim of an experiment designed by Ban Ban. His mind is so twisted that he decided to create a dangerously powerful element. His victims were astonished. It was like a firearm that also completely transformed them into true evil monsters. Ban Ban transformed them only to conquer the idea of his plan and create a more hostile world. Once the project was finished, the monsters had completely transformed, and he became aware that he had developed a very great evil madness. Such an evil mind. You see, I could observe this catastrophe from outside the laboratory, but when I tried to hide so he wouldn't see me, he came out and found me. And I had no other choice but to run for my life as fast as I could. Because 
Guess what? His evil monsters were coming for me. Trapped by my fate, I decided to hide. I couldn't face such a reality. I had to stay away from them completely. <gasps> when everything seemed to have returned to normal, a monster I didn't know appeared beside me. So I was instantly frightened. But he immediately calmed me down by saying that he was also filled with fear. He knew what these monsters were capable of. At one point, he told me to run and escape from the place. I didn't want it to do it, but he insisted. He saved my life, gave it his all, and it cost him all his energy. Because when one of the monsters saw him, it beat him intensely. I couldn't believe it. His entire body had been violated by the bite of the evil monster. And of course, he had also fallen into transformation. I escaped the place as best as I could, trying not to get caught. While I was escaping, I tried to warn the others about what he was doing. The first one who I found was the snake. He didn't seem to understand where we were, so I tried to warn him that an evil monster was coming for us, but he didn't want to listen to me. I insisted again that it was a serious matter, something we had never seen before. He told me that if anything happened, he would defend himself because he was super strong. So I decided to run away because I knew it was close. And before he knew it, the monster appeared right in front of him. But without fear, he confronted it with his super monster strength. But surprisingly, the evil monster was much more malicious and powerful than him. So he got scared, and that cost him his life. Because he was finally transformed into his most evil version. I kept running through space, checking if any of the monsters were healthy and uninfected. <laughs> That's where yeah, I found so Pan Balina and Coach Fiddles. <laughs> but when I told them what was going on, they were mocking me, thinking I was exaggerating. But I had a reason to be. Our family oh was God. being affected by this new project of Pan Ban. <laughs> this time, they had to believe me. Or, well, maybe not. They laughed so much at me that I felt so embarrassed for them and myself. So I decided to leave. When they saw that I had left, they continued laughing at me. But this time, they didn't count on the presence of a peculiar being behind them. It was a snake in its most evil version, scaring them. They were so shocked that they decided to run for their lives. It wasn't easy. Snake mercilessly cut them, so they were also transformed by the disease of evil. Their nature cycle was interrupted by a situation of evil. And guess what? Ban Ban controlled every movement. He wanted to get to me, no matter the cost. Brown and Nav Nav were still good monsters, not infected. It seemed like they were very focused on their cube game. But there was no time to lose, we had to escape. So I interrupted them immediately, and Brown thought that I was hallucinating. He couldn't bear it. But fortunately, Nav Nav believed me, so he compromised to keep us safe. In the midst of it all, the evil monsters were appearing near us. There was no more time to argue. So Nav Nav had the brilliant idea of taking us to the roof, but leaving Brown adrift. And when the monsters saw Brown alone, they didn't hesitate to approach and turn him into one of them. They left him in pieces. And he looked terrible. Poor Brown. His entire appearance had transformed. But 
for the worse. I was so shocked that I almost screamed. But Nav Nav made sure that didn't happen. I felt like most of the monsters had been defeated by Ban Ban's project. And that's what was happening. Ban Ban project was much worse than I thought. He was creating a Frankenstein with all the monsters. Faced with this, Nav Nav took the initiative to do something for all of us. He proposed the plan of stealing Ban Ban's weapon. Raising awareness among the monsters about his exploitation. And thus defeating him and his evil project. Only that way, everything would return to normal. Nav Nav seemed really confident that it was the best plan. So I decided to follow him. We went directly to Ban Ban's laboratory and we did it stealthily so that he wouldn't see us. I tried to distract him so that Nav Nav could grab the weapon. At first, it was challenging for me. I tried not to fault her. I tried to keep strong. But everything Ban Ban said seriously weakened me, so I couldn't maintain my composure. When Ban Ban discovered our plan, he grabbed Nav Nav and sent him flying away. He ended up in a cage, and I couldn't believe it. I furiously confronted Ban Ban, but his strength was unmatched compared to mine. I felt my entire body giving in, and I fell against the wall. He defeated me, and as a result, I got transformed into my worst version. I was so scared and damaged. My entire essence was transformed. Nav Nav was also resigned. Ban Ban's evil project was advising more and more, and there were no more chances of defeating him. Oh, Opila! Don't worry! It's okay you're feeling oh. like that! I really understand everything now! Hey. Huh? Oh no! Oh, don't even try to escape! Oh no! Don't you ever try to touch it! Come on, Jumbo! It's time you go! Now! What? I promise I'll never forget you! Be safe, buddy! I need to find something! Uh, I'm really tired! I can't run! Huh? If I could go back to the past, I'd make things different. Hey, Nav Nav! Hey, listen to me! The only monster left is... What? <laughs> He's here! Come on, uh, we're almost there! Huh? Uh -oh. Look who's here with us! The last objective to complete my project! Please don't cry, my friend! Listen, I have a plan! You have to dodge the fires he shoots at you. Meanwhile, I'll try to distract him. When I do that, you go in and steal the weapon. He will be without power, and that's when the victory will come to us. Okay, just do what I said. Um, okay, let's do it. You think you're so smart, eh? Come on, just try uh, to yeah. catch me. Huh? <laughs> Where did he go? Ouch! <laughs> We made it! My head! Uh, no, no, no! Stop! Sweet dreams, Bad Ben! No, no, no! Uh, 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 uh. How do I look? Uh, what? No! You look like a fish now! <laughs> hmm. uh, what's hey, happening what's here? What's happening here? <laughs> oh! You're here! Prepare to recover your identity! All right. uh, uh. <laughs> Thanks! It's my turn! <laughs> Look! I'm back now! Finally! Um, I'm sorry, Opila. I guess you deserve an apology from me. How sweet! Of course I accept your apologies! Ah, huh? oh, thank you! You say you uh, here now! Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me! Huh? Get Run away from me! Useless. <laughs> oh no! Don't you move now! Please don't hurt me! <laughs> Go and turn 
turn him into elementals. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a really delicious pizza. Ah, uh, what was that? You come here. Oh no, I have to run away. Ouch! Whoa, I'm an elemental! Go uh, turn the others! Huh? Uh, uh, that looks weird. I better... Hey there! Uh, Plants attack him! Uh-oh. I'm in trouble! I need to escape! Uh, what? Oh no! I'm trapped! Mission uh, accomplished, boss! I'm at your service, sir! Go find him! Understood! I'll get him! And now the cherry on top! I'm so proud! Uh, Huh? Whoa, I didn't see you. Do you want some cake? Take this! What? Ah! Huh? What happened to my body? Look at that! A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Cream and sprinkles. A little love. And... It's perfect! Yeah! This is so yeah. cool! Your powers are great, aren't they? That's why I'll take them for myself! All the powers what? are mine! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, here we go! Oh no! Huh? Look at that! Now I'm the most powerful being in the world! You'll stay there to watch me conquer it! What? Not so you fast! You dare oppose me! Huh? You need to stop right now! Drop me, you dumb hmm. giant! Hey, Bum Bum! Take this! Oh. Ah. And that's how you do it! <laughs> I can't believe I lost my powers! Hmm, that's what you get for causing a catastrophe! Oh no! Not fool! I still have my powers! <laughs> eh? What? Are you sure about my, that? My powers!